So we're following a developing story right now in Muskegon Heights. Police are questioning three men about a reported shooting and attempted robbery that happened in an alley early this morning. Now, police say that one of the men showed up at the police station with bullet holes in his vehicle. 13 on your sides. John Mills is live right now with more on what police found in the alley. John. Kristen, Muskegon Heights Police Chief Joseph Thomas tells me that fresh shell casings were found in this alley earlier this morning. Now, Muskegon Heights officers were called to this location on a shots fired call around 6.30 a.m. When they arrived, they found two men. One of the men had been run over by a vehicle. That man was transported to a Muskegon hospital with a number of significant injuries. Now, Chief Thomas tells me that the man driving the vehicle that injured the man here in the alley showed up at the Muskegon Heights police station. The driver admitted that he ran the man over, but only after that man and a second man tried to rob him at gunpoint in this alley. Now, the chief tells me all three men are not under arrest but they are being held and interviewed about the shooting. Now, the driver told police that the men in the alley not only had guns, but they also were wearing masks. The chief believes that the men injured by the vehicle has broken bones, but he is expected to recover from those injuries. When police searched this alley, they did not find guns or those masks that were referenced by the man who drove the person here over. Now the investigation is ongoing and the chief tells me it might not even finish this afternoon. It might go into tomorrow too. Now the driver I'm told is a local resident. One of the men from the alley here, uh, police uh, chief Joseph Thomas tells me is from Ottawa County and detectives have uh, put the driver's vehicle into a uh, locked and secure location so that they can process it later today. Kristen. John, thanks so much.